Today's video, we're going to talk to you about walking away from someone you love. Now, that's the most difficult thing you're probably ever going to have to do. Breakups are emotionally heightened situations, and we're telling you to walk away from the person that you wanted to spend the rest of your life with, even though they don't want to be with you anymore, to walk away from them for good. Look, that's, we understand that's a very hard and difficult thing to do. And it takes a lot for you to do it because that's the last thing you want to do. We're telling you to walk away and you never hear their voice again. You never get a text message from them. You never smell their perfume or their cologne from them again. You won't be able to run your hand through their hair anymore and hear their laugh and eat dinner with their mom and their dad. It's done. And that's hard. I know it's hard. It's easier said than done, right? But if you want to get your ex back and if you want to get over the relationship, you want to get over the breakup, you have to walk away. So you have to understand that life is a book. We have many chapters that we're gonna experience and many characters that we're gonna experience in our story. And your breakup and your relationship was the end of the chapter. And now walking away is gonna start a new chapter. And that should excite you. Because now you're about to experience some things that you've never experienced before. And yes, it is gonna be a little bit scary. It's gonna get dark, but it's always darkest before dawn. So a brighter day is gonna come and that should excite you because Anything that we face as far as adversity is gonna reveal our truest self and our, our authentic self. Because after the breakup, when you walk away, you're gonna experience clarity and you're gonna allow yourself time to heal. And it's not something that you're able to do when you're in your ex's face, begging and pleading, trying to get them back, trying to bribe them to come back. You're not giving yourself a chance to go through the grieving process of a breakup. And one of the early stages of the grieving process is to heal. And you take that time to yourself to really think about how to recover and how to rebuild yourself emotionally after this because this is a tough situation. You've gone through a lot of stuff during this breakup and you need to gain some, you need to get, you need to heal those wounds because you've, you've gotten some scars from the breakup and you need to get clarity about the situation, where you went wrong, where you, the behaviors that you exhibited after the breakup, the things that you did that was out of character for you. A lot of people are acting in ways that they've never acted before because they're heartbroken and it's understandable. But take this time to walk away for yourself to get healing, whether it's emotionally or physically. A lot of people do harm to themselves after the breakup. So use this time, this period where you're to yourself and you can gain some insight about yourself about your ex and the relationship. You kind of gain respect for yourself as well. You're not really respecting yourself. When you when you bow down and you start like chasing and hunting somebody else down and you know going up to their job and, and calling their, their friends and family up asking about them and just you know constantly like trying to get put back in their bubble and back in their circle. It's like you can't really respect yourself for that. Especially when the girl you found out your ex just like cheated on you or she just completely like brushed you off to the curb for somebody else. I mean, it's like, there's there's no respect there. You're not respecting yourself at all. That's You're actually disrespecting yourself. And that's like, that's horrible. That's like the complete opposite of what you should be doing. And you're just bringing yourself backwards by doing stuff like that. Not only does it push her away further, but it's just kind of like, you know, you know that you're doing the wrong thing and you're gonna feel like horrible, especially after the fact that she rejects you again for over here trying to like harass her and go to her job and call her and send her emails and stuff like that. So you guys, keep in mind, it's not helping doing this extra reaching out and, and begging and crying and clean slate letters and stuff like that. You know, you gotta respect yourself. You gotta understand, hey, I'm more valuable than this, okay? This is one out of the millions upon millions upon millions of women in, or men in the world, whatever you guys like. This, there's millions and billions of people out there but you're gonna sit there and cry and beg for this one person that you coincidentally love, even though there's probably so many people out there that are better than your ex that you had. You know, you gotta respect yourself and you gotta let that person come to you. So you gotta realize what's really important, you know, your self-respect or you getting a person back that completely disrespected you already. Someone that completely brushed you off and just threw you off to the curb. Like you gotta really sit there and think about that. If you don't value yourself, then why do you think your ex is gonna value you? True self-respect means I'm not gonna stay where I'm not wanted. Your ex doesn't want you, I, I know it's tough, that's not what you wanna hear, but you have to realize that your integrity and your pride and your dignity and your respect is paramount and, is, and no one comes before you. This is about self-care. So don't stay in places that you're no longer wanted. Your self-respect and your self-worth and your love for yourself is paramount over anyone else's, including your ex. And what walking away also does is it does create attraction. Now, 
You may not think that that's the case, but attraction grows in space because in the breakup, we feel like we have to do something. And the best thing for you to do is do nothing, is to turn around and walk away. Tension, sexual tension, mystery, curiosity, they all grow in space. You think about when you're in the gym and you're trying to build muscle. Building muscle doesn't happen in the gym. In the gym, you're actually breaking down the muscle fibers. When you're away from the gym, when you're resting and recovering, that's when the muscle is being built and being repaired for the next time that you go into the gym to go in and tear down those muscle fibers again. So attraction is built through space. It's the longing, it's the pining, it's the wondering, it's the being curious about what's on the, on the other person's mind. Yes, you can show attractive behaviors when you're with them, but that attraction, that tension is built when you're away. It's the missing them, it's the, the what's on their mind, or, or did I say this right, or I can't wait to see them again. That happens when you're away from your ex. So the quicker that you can walk away from your ex, and disappear like a, a, a leaf in the wind is when that attraction starts to grow because that tension, and we always say that attraction is created by doubt, uncertainty, mystery, and curiosity. But you can, you can only do that by walking away. Remember guys, when walking away from someone you love does, it makes them start to think about the relationship and where where they went wrong, and where you went wrong. You just like, and I say this all the time, but time is the biggest band-aid, period. Any type of like cuts that you guys have, time will heal that cut, okay? Scars may still be there, but the cut will be healed. And you guys need time to heal. Whatever it was that caused the breakup, okay? Whatever you did, whether you, you know what I'm saying, whether you cheated on them or you just, Punch the grandma in the mouth for wearing your Air Force Ones when, when you were at work, whatever the case may be, you guys. It's the time that actually just like heals all this stuff, okay? And that's what you want to happen. You want them to, to you want to you want to end the relationship on the best note you can possibly end it on, okay? That's, that means no begging, crying, no fighting, no trash talking, nothing like that. So if you end a relationship on good terms and that time passes by, She's gonna start thinking about you in a positive manner, okay? She's gonna start thinking a little more positive about you. They're gonna start forgetting all the bad, messed up stuff that you did or, you know, or even like vice versa, you know? And now you have time to think about it, you know? During the breakup, you're thinking, oh, I, I want them back so bad. I, I do everything to get them back. I just, I just want them back in my life. God, please, I want them back. But then really, after time, you, you stop and you really think about it like, wait, 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 why do I want them back? After all of the, the, the rude, mean things they did to me, the way they disrespected me and talked to me and, and, and embarrassed me in front of my friends and degraded me in front of their family and stuff like that, it's like you have time to think about, do I really want this person back? Can I do better? Do I deserve better? Another reason why walking away from someone you love is something that you need to do is because it reverses the dynamic. After the breakup, you were the one that, were, that was pushing your ex to try to get back with you by bribing, crying, pleading, whatever it was that you were doing, it didn't work. Now she's, they see you in a particular light that's unattractive, but while you're going no contact, you're allowing that space to be created and time has passed. And now they can see that since you're in the wind and totally just, that's not a peep from you. They're in a position now that they're thinking about where they went wrong, how they can fix the situation now, because you have no presence at this point. Your presence, if you don't know, your presence is a present and your value, your self-worth is being raised in that silence. And now they're in a position that they're thinking about you and that scarcity that is created by your absence is gonna pro provoke them to want to do something. Because now they realize that you may be gone for good. And that time that has been created, that absence that has been created, they're in their head thinking about what they need to do to get you back. And they're having bouts of, did they make the right decision by leaving you? They're questioning their decision. Where at the beginning, you validated them breaking up with you because of your behavior. But now, since you're in the wind and that mystery is growing, that curiosity is getting the best of them, they wanna reach out to you. Now they know the possibility of you being gone for good is, is at the forefront now. And it scares the life out of them but you can only do that by walking away. So another reason why you need to walk away from someone you love is due to the fact that your partner, your ex needs to experience the breakup as well. Now that may not make sense to you, but you have to understand that they decided to break up with you probably weeks, maybe even months prior to the actual breakup, physical breakup. 
So at the, at the time of the breakup, you're handling this very poorly and you're in their face begging, pleading, doing all the unsavory things that we talk about. They are not going, you're prolonging their process of grieving. So right now they're in a particular stage and we've talked about the no contact rule stages and breakup stages in pre previous videos. They're at a stage of relief and they're at a stage of, they're not experiencing what they need to experience during the breakup process. You're grieving, you're going through the entire process. They are delayed because you're still pushing and pushing and, and poking. So they need to feel that hurt. They need to feel that absence of you. They need to know what they miss. They need to know what they're missing out on. But by you staying in their face, they don't get to experience that. And you're just invalidating everything that drove them to break up with you. So by you walking away, they're going to see that, they're gonna feel that absence. They're gonna feel that hurt. They're gonna go by, they're gonna have a birthday and you're not gonna be there. You're not gonna, there's gonna be no birthday text, no no cake, no party, no, no, no romantic evening. They're gonna experience Thanksgiving without you. They're gonna experience them going to get knee surgery without you when you normally would have been there. They're gonna feel that your absence when they get a promotion and you're not there to celebrate with them. So you can only do that by walking away because they need to experience these emotions like you're experiencing right now. They need to see that too. They need to feel that. And your absence is gonna provoke that behavior in them and provoke those emotions. So now when you walk away from somebody you love, guys, you gotta understand, you gotta know self-improvement is the way to go. You gotta improve yourself. Nobody wants that same person back that they just broke up with. So when they just broke up with, why do you think they're gonna turn around and go right back to the same person? Mm -hmm. They had those exact same bad negative feelings about you. You being the same scrawny dude that does nothing but play video games and watches porn all day while the girl goes to work and you know what I'm saying? Like why would somebody want you back like that? You know, you guys gotta improve yourself, gain some muscle. It, 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 you'll, you'll feel 10 times more confident when you start hitting the gym. Start going for jogs. Same for the women out there. You ladies, go ahead and improve yourself. You know, get that. Every You know, every guy wants a girl with a nice body too. You know, go ahead and take the gym up. Go ahead and get, get that ass perking out a little more. Do what you have to do, just make yourself better. Start reading more, get more educated. You know, ladies, pick up a new hobby, you know, start, you know, learn how to like just do hair just to do it or like paint nails or just do graffiti work on, you know, on walls, just whatever you do, just try to become a better person than what you were yesterday. Try to become a better person than you were when the breakup occurred during a relationship. Like every day you should be improving yourself, guys. And once you guys really actually get that in your head, once you really start to figure out, you know what, Improving myself every day does make me feel a lot better. I'm getting a lot more attention. I'm getting a lot more love and respect from people. I'm getting more, you know, women or men. Or, you know, my life has been you nothing getting, but better. You getting men too? Man, I'm that fine. Shit. I mean, I mean, nice. I, man. Get it how you live, man. Nah. <laughs> but you know, that's that's what you have to do, guys. It's all about self-improvement every single day. You weren't put on this earth just to sit here and do nothing and just be a bum all damn day. Guys, improve yourself every single day and you watch the results come. Watch, watch the amount of respect and love and the attention that you guys get. But you can only do this by walking away. And we know it's gonna be the most difficult thing you've probably ever done. You've probably climbed mountains and ran an ultra marathon and all other types of very difficult things and you, you did it. But this is probably the hardest thing you've probably ever had to do, getting over a breakup. And that's why we have another video to the left that you need to check out that we talk about. A little bit more in detail about going no contact and walking away. So go ahead and click that. We'll see you on the flip side. Peace.